Hi, this is Matthew from the Tarantula Trap, and we are here today with my puppy dog, and we're out looking for the frozen tundra tarantula. You ever hear that? I'll show you. It exists. Let's see if I can turn this camera around. I'll just do it like this. Actually, no oh wait, I'm lying. Yeah, it doesn't exist. This is just my house. Oh well, let's go inside. Hi guys, we're back inside and um, I've got quite the mess going on here, but I know you guys have all had the same messes going on before. So what happens, what happens is, um, you know, life takes over and grandbabies and dogs and there's my puppy again. All sorts of things. Um, holidays especially too. So I do have a couple of things to share. We've had a couple of extra molts that happened here. We've got one from an LP, Lasiadora Parahabana, which is one of the small slings, and another one from Brachypelma Vagans, which is another small sling. And then I also have, in that very same enclosure where those are resting, let me see if I can show you here. We had another one molt. And, sorry, I'm doing this all myself here. His molt is tucked way down on the bottom there. But this is my, or one of my, Samopeo Sermenius. And I did not feed her, or him, because I figure it's just too quick. Um, we have one of my Afonopelma Simanis. There you can see the little orange spinnerets. We got a little happy dance going on there. She is um, webbing up her dubia that she partially ingested, most likely. Um, and then one of the things I wanted to bring up is actually, it's a question. Maybe for some viewers out there, you guys might have an answer for me. What do you do in a situation where here is my other Afonopelma Simani. And you can scratch that question because she's eating. Never mind. I put, he is so blocked off here and he's got his own little tunnel. And I put, um, sorry for this camera action here. I put the roach in there and it dropped and it went down all the way around to that back corner and she did not look interested in it and looking at her booty looks like she's been kicking some hairs off and maybe even preparing for a molt so i did not know what to do um and i was wondering if somebody had a method or would you just leave it in there because that's quite a dig, and I'd hate to ruin that for her. Also, let's see if I can set this back up again. Here you go. Also, um, you guys all remember Mo. This is Mo. He is the Brachypelma albopilosum that we got from the store, and he had seven legs. He just didn't seem happy. But he is very happy now, and he has made a crazy enclosure. However, we went to another pet store to get crickets. And, like most of us, can't go there just for crickets. You can see, um, she's actually a sweetheart, but they were selling her as a Chilean rosy hair tarantula. And you could probably give me a better clue, but I don't think, I 
I do not think that is a Chilean rosy hair tarantula. Let's see if I can get her any closer. Look like a rosy hair, guys? I'm guessing not. See if I can gently coax her back down in there. There we go. She is seeking refuge under her little hide there now. But we had Mo, and now we have Joni. Apparently, this is what my wife names the um there we go that's the camera <laughs> sorry guys um my wife names these tarantulas so a phonopelma i mean uh brachypelma albopelosum i believe i'm correct i told the ladies at the pet store that was not a rosy and um i hope i wasn't lying to them but what do you think also what do you guys do when you have a um, dubia or something that's way down in there and you think it's possible your tarantula may be getting ready to molt. Um, any questions or not questions but any comments that might help me out? Would you leave it in there? I don't know. Um, I've never really ran into that before. I mean I do every once in a while but usually I can coax them out. This happened to be one that burrowed so far in there that I wasn't able to get a tweezers in there or without completely demolishing his house but I guess maybe the answer would be to just let it be for a couple of hours and see what happens because he uh, she apparently ate it <laughs> so we're doing good there um, we had the two new molts three new molts uh, and and really that's about it so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this little update and you guys have a wonderful day Thumbs it up, comment something, please subscribe if you haven't already, um, and thank you very much. Bye-bye.